any of these drills is right after you've passed the guard, typically you run into some sort of defense, and we're going to use these to warm up, and then we're going to get into our X guard, butterfly guard stuff. Um, but typically, you know, as soon as you pass the person's guard, you run into something, right? And so having some good, like, counters to this kind of stuff is important. Um, if you think about it, like, most of you guys are good enough that you can probably get past someone's leg. For instance, Tom, right? Getting past Tom's legs is not that hard. It's staying there where his legs like weave back in, and he's able to bring back his guard, right? That's the hard part. So what we're gonna do some drills. First one um, is just gonna be a hop over. So we're gonna secure the top leg. So my partner turns towards me, right? He's here. So maybe I did like a, a low pass and his legs are in here. He's trying to bring this leg in. I'm gonna post to my hand. My head can be at a few different places. I can have my head on the chest. I can also have my head down towards the mat. And I'm gonna pin the, the top leg by grabbing it. Grab the ankle, put the shoulder down, and we're gonna hop over. Once again, I'll release a little bit of pressure. He turns towards me again. Grip the top pant or the ankle, put your weight down. I'm posting on my hand and my head. Again, my head can go into his body or even on the mat. Hop over and turn. And when you guys do it, try to land one, two with your feet instead of just kind of going like this. Okay, he's gonna like thud. Try to get more control of the body. So in here, hop over. Okay, so side to side. It's in the first one with four questions. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I'll pose this on the knee back like this. Okay? Next, I'm gonna come up, bring the knee to the shoulder. And I'm here. Now we start seeing this guy's pushing really hard for the neck. Because you know he's gonna have an option. He's gonna have to here. We're gonna take this arm, go elbow to elbow, and switch the hips again. Going to reverse, uh, case of time. You guys can do it. Important detail, do not, if you can see a shoulder, that's not correct. Take it, and I want you to like sort of scoop up his elbow. So what happens is, this arm is pretty dead. The only thing he has is like, he's got this little flipper. This is a good setup for like, if you guys like to play Kimuras and arm locks, boom, right from this position. And if not, even being here, if he has a good bridge, he can turn his shoulders up into you, and we might lose position. So we wanna get here and here. And again, my, I'm not even actually on the mat right now. My butt's a little bit up, and I'm leaning forward, okay? To finish, we're gonna pull the legs down, step over, to mount, dismount. By this now, I'm taking my heel to my butt, Early, come down, we're going to side control, we push from our hip first, right? Set the push, grab this tricep, all about the hip switch motion. Notice how little my upper body moves, pull the arm up, knee to the shoulder, up here. You start to push into my neck, elbow to elbow, switching the hips. Okay, look at my feet, I'm pressing off my toes here, pressing off my toes here, leaning down low, uh, pull the legs down, scoop my, my leg into it, Hands out, switch, here, here, hip, boom, switch the hips, push it on the neck, elbow here, step over, hips again, step over, switch. When you guys are doing it, just kind of try to find a nice smooth rhythm. And again, bottom first, remember, hip first, push it with the side of your hand. Second one is push up into the neck, and that works even if you're in a tight side control and person's hips to get your neck lifted. We switch off to that uh, reverse position. Questions? Ready? One, two, three. Here, back, right? So, for instance, Jeff, Jeff's a pretty big guy, so we'll do it to him. If I'm sitting back here, okay, I've got the elbow to elbow, yes, Jeff, but how do I feel? I, I mean, I probably feel somewhat heavy, but how, I mean, but like, just how do I feel wise, like, as far as heavy? Not, not really. Not really, right? Now, what we want to do is, guys, again, we talk about this all the time. The sweet spot, right? Whenever you're coming in with passes, we're always putting that pressure right here. The same is true when we're doing this position. When I get here, I'm not leaning back or even resting here. I'm getting my whole body up here. Now, how does that feel, Jeff? Really? Okay, so when you guys are here, try to put, you're gonna feel right here, like the side of your ribs, the side of your body, right over top of the stern, right where the rib cage tapers down. So when I get here, I go under, or go over top, elbow to elbow. Now look how low I am. I'm not, 
I'm not staying up here and switching. I'm coming down and switching here. Now how do I feel, Jeff? There we go. And this is where we want to be, right? I'm very low here, I'm hunkered in, and his arm doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. And this is where the where my Kimura setups come from, because if he moves the hand at all, boom, there it is. Right? But if nothing else, I'm really heavy and I can step up for mount. Okay? So we're gonna start it again. Make sure that as you do it, that's my fault. I didn't really focus on that enough. Shift your body weight down and place your body right there, okay? Alright, one, two, three. We're opening our hips up. Okay, so the same motion, you know, for you guys that have done it before the surfboard pass where we're here and here, he sits up and we boom, open up like that. That's the same motion. We're really opening our hips up. We're not like it's it's a tricky movement, but it's so cool when you get good at it because then you're like bouncing around the person and the person can't keep up with you. So watch, when he turns, guys, there's there's variations that we can use where we're grabbing the collar or the head. For right now, just post the mat, it's fine. Okay, it's not a big deal. Now what we're gonna do is we open up. So I'm not doing I'm not doing this. I'm not barely turning the hips where I'm like stepping out here. Boom. Yeah. even drop down to your hip here, boom, pop on chase. So it's a, when you do it fast, it's like, that's what I'm broken down. It's pushing the leg down, hooking, pop, boom, over. Okay, so as I'm here, I hook, press off this foot, and as I get up, I extend this leg up. Okay, so that hits me, so then we're here, we're in this tight position, he's running towards you. He might even have this leg, this bottom leg already in a little bit. In down, step, hook over, right? But make sure that your hips turn out. Again, part of the purpose of the drills that we've done, right? And you notice that everything's been hips turning everywhere, right? The whole time, boom, 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 boom. Because a lot of times when the person is trying to get away from you, and just like we're trying to, we're trying on the bottom, on top, we're trying to control the hips. On the bottom, he's trying to do the same thing, right? He's trying to push away from the hips, so we're switching constantly right here, boom. Okay, the whole time, it's all about hip movement. So, Focus on really opening your hips, posting on that foot, and reach out and turn. Okay? Alright. Ready guys. One, two, three. So what I want you guys to do is do the drill again. I want you to go just a smidge faster now, okay? It doesn't have to be like stupid fast, but I want you to try to find a rhythm that you can stick to the whole time. So if I'm doing the drill, it'll look like Kind of find that rhythm that you can maintain for one minute. We're not going to go from two to one minute a piece. Okay, so try to go a little bit faster than what you guys did last time. Cool. Anybody have a question about it before we get started? Hey, can you? Yes. Sorry. Um, sorry. Where do we put our hands when we're going? Like, is there a specific place when you're getting up? Does it matter? I mean, there's probably like you should put your hands here, but the reality is like when you're in the middle of that passing like, situation, man, who knows? Like your your hands are going to be all over the place. What I'd like is basically just make sure my hands are on that person. Where I feel most comfortable is having a hand almost like if I'm going knee on belly. Mm -hmm. So having a hand like up on the shoulder, near side or far side, but having a hand up on the the upper shoulders of the chest and having a hand on that far hip so when he goes over I can kind of keep his hip pin just a little bit extra and then bring that up right mm -hmm. opposed to like if I don't want to put my hands on the mat because then there's no pressure on you so just right here hands on the person cut drop down step over and then we're here we let the kind of push we let him push his back put our hands in them and cut down and the reason we put our, hand, our hands on them and put our weight up is so that we can move this leg Kind of freely and bring it up high and cut down into it. Because if you try to go shallow with it, like if I just get here and I try to like cut down like this, it doesn't do much, right? So I really want to cut that knee up because that pins that arm. Question? One minute, peace, guys. One, two, three. 